everyone, it is Carol. I'm the creative owner of Be Inspired Market, and we have a fun Friday night planned. I was laughing before I got on this live, so I'm sure I'm gonna laugh some more. She's gonna uh, have, <laughs> she's gonna have the giggles, ladies. I she's am, I am. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let us know where you're from. The voice that you just heard is my husband. He is watching comments, so. Um, Please talk to us. <laughs> yes, and come craft with us. Uh, we have a project today that is another Kirkland inspired project, but we're going to put a completely different twist on it. Um, and we're going to make it for $2 compared to the 20, well, $2 plus your craft stash. Um, and they, they're, they're wanting $24.99 for it. So, who can I talk to? I've got 23 people on, but my, my computer's going slow. Hey, so. Barbara and Denny and Linda, Stephanie and Vicki. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, guys. Here we, <laughs> here we go, ladies. Uh, I think instead of counting the honeys, we count the hey, guys. Hey, guys. We've got Trish and Catherine. Lots of you guys popping on on a Friday night. So I have another free printable for you guys. Print, printable, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be on the website once this um, is a blog. But of course, if you're in the DIY club, you'll get it first thing tomorrow. <laughs> um, everybody else will get it on the blog in a couple weeks. But it is a... Um, Completely different twist. Hey, Alexis. Yeah, when you, ladies, when you're hopping on, let us know where you're from. Yes, and let John. It, let us know where you're from. And Stephanie said I needed this tonight. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, prayers for you and your family. How's school going, too? Geneva. Oh, that's the other Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, Stephanie H., we're praying for her, and Stephanie, Stephanie M. M is in school. Yes. Okay. How's school going, Steph? <laughs> so this is what we're doing tonight. This is inspired. So it's Hello Fall, and it is a little sign from Kirkland's, and they're wanting $25 from it. So can you see it's just little pumpkins? It's got Hello Fall on there. So we're going to make this, but we're going to do it as a banner. We're going to use these little packs from Dollar Tree. So if you see them, grab them. You're going to need two packs because you need, I don't know, eight or nine of these. Ooh, that's a, this could be like a Dollar Tree craft? Yes, it could be oh. a Dollar Tree craft. Well, it is a Dollar Tree craft, yes, because this is from Dollar Tree. So you can spread <laughs> the honey right into a Dollar, Dollar Tree, Tree group. <laughs> group. <laughs> um, so you need two of these and my printable. And then, like I said, your craft stash. Um, I just saw Alexis on here. She is the pom-pom um, queen on her page, um, Purposeful Indulgence. And that's what we're making. So um, I learned my skills from her. So we're going to have some fun with some pom-poms if you've never made those before. Uh, printable fun and all the good things. So, hey, Joy and Kathy. Lots oh, of you guys on there. Stephanie said we're not going to be talking about school tonight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I got it, Steph. No school. Hopefully you're okay with Steph instead of Stephanie. But we won't talk about school, I promise. So I have some of these already done for you, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, like I said, you're going to need two packs of these. We're going to do, so I've already pre-done the hello, and I'll show it to you guys in a second. We're going to do the fall. We're going to make this into a cute little banner, and you're going to get a um, printable that I designed just for this. Heather said, Carol, I gave my mom the pumpkin canvas art I did yesterday and she loved it. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. That is so cool. Hey, Jody. Dawn said, I love your shirt. Uh, shirts in the market. You can just comment link and you'll get the link to everything. Lots of new blogs have gotten up there. Um, I would love you dearly. I hit a milestone today. So, you know that this is a creative page. We do DIYs here. We do sometimes Dollar Tree, sometimes thrift um, hauls. We just do a combination of things, but it's here to kind of show you how to do your own um, DIYs. But anyway, I hit a milestone. 100,000 views on Pinterest. Those are small, what are they, small potatoes compared to what people do out there? But, uh, just... That Perfect Piece by Agnes has 3.9 million views a month. So I am just like this, um, but it's huge because I've been sitting at like 20,000 for a while. So And a lot of it is due to you ladies yes. by 
pinning it and pushing it out to other people. So yes. we appreciate you all. Thanks, Jody. <clears throat> so yeah, so when you go to the blog, when you pin any kind of picture, one, it will keep it on your Pinterest board forever. So you can, when you're ready to do that craft that you saw here, you can just go to your Pinterest board and pull up the blog and it'll be right there for you. Um, so that's the benefit to you to have it pinned. For us, it's to get our blog obviously out there into the internet world. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, thanks, Alexis. So these are the cute little printables that you're going to get. Now, I know they look a little bigger, but I've kind of given you the bigger size because I know sometimes people don't get these. Maybe you want a little bigger one. Um, I'm just making sure it fits your whole um, piece. Oh, thanks for all the hearts, guys. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Yvonne. Um, so you're going to get the printable, okay? And it's going to say, Hello Fall. That's what it's going to say. And they're all going to come like this with there's two pages. And then, like I said, it'll be on the blog in the next couple weeks and the ladies in the club will get it tomorrow. Um, but each of the letters, I did it just like Kirkland's. Um, and that's what we're going to do tonight. Brenda Hackett said, hey, Carol, I'll be Pinterest pinning this weekend. Oh, good. Thanks, Brenda. Sorry, ladies. Every, now, every time she does a live, there's always something. <laughs> something I forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Pinterest, it is, um, it can get addicting because you go there and you kind of get lost in all the projects. But it's really fun. It's like, um, even for the house. So, like, when we moved here and we wanted to do the bathroom or something like that, I went to Pinterest. I created a board that was called Bathrooms. And then, basically, as I was on Pinterest, if I saw a bathroom I liked, I pinned it. Um, and that means I saved it. So, when I was ready to do the bathroom, I can go through my pins and see, okay, this is what I want to use. This is what I don't want to do. Um, 311. Yes, patches. Thank you. Heather, I Ellen. I saw Lori Stevenson on here. Lori Stevenson, are you in the path of that hurricane? Yes, we're that's praying coming. for... Because um... Nettie said she's getting a lot of rain, so that's what she's going to do this weekend, too, is do a lot of Pinterest pinning for you. Oh, girls. there you go. Thank so, you. But, yeah. And Nettie, I, I know you guys are getting a lot of rain, but I don't think it's supposed to be as bad. But, Lori Stevenson, be careful. I know you've been through it before, you yeah. said. Yeah. But... Thanks, guys. Oh. Thanks, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Bill had me laughing. He said, I call you guys guys too much. Hey, guys. And I'm like, oh. And sometimes I hear other people do it, and I'm not a fan of it. And then I catch myself doing it. I think it's just a Midwest thing. No, I think um, what it was. Mod Podge, we're going to do the dry technique. If you haven't seen the dry technique, stay tuned. No, what started it, ladies, was she popped out of the bathroom, and her the front of her pants were lower than the back of her pants. The back of her pants were pulled all the way up to her shoulder blades for some reason. So, and we're talking about something, something crafting related. And I go, first of all, I go, rearrange your pants. And she just started laughing so hard she almost beat her pants. So. It's that laugh, and you ladies who can relate who's 50 years old, it's that laugh where you actually have to stop mid-walk and kind of go. <laughs> uh, he makes you laugh every day. Okay, I don't know why I took this chip brush because it's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Can I show you something real quick? What did I look like? Nothing. Oh, it froze, but what now happened? it started working. You froze like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Oh, storms went through here for Carol Klaus. Thanks, Nicole, for answering questions. So, yes, these are the little wood. They're called Color Your Own Ornaments. I'm frozen for some reason, ladies, so let me refresh. <laughs> Kathy says, I always call you guys. Yeah, Kathy's up from Illinois. That's why. Okay. So the dry technique for Mod Podge is you're basically going to put a coat of Mod Podge on your piece. I always give you the tip. Pick your piece up, and I see you guys pinning, so thank you very, very much. <laughs> um... <laughs> So you lift it up, and if you see a glare, you know you've gotten it. But if you see it dull, you know you missed it. It's important to make sure that you put your Mod Podge on your entire piece. It's not life or death, but <laughs> it's just, it makes crafting a little more fun when you, you know, do it this way. <laughs> I want you to succeed. So I try to give you as many tips as possible to help you succeed um, so you don't give up. 
So you keep going and keep being creative and keep um, uh, having fun with it. So, hey, Doreen, how do you find you on Pinterest? If you comment link, one of the links in the messages should be my Pinterest link. So, oh, good, Dana. Dana. Okay, so basically you put the Mod Podge on here and then you let it sit. While that sits and dries, we're gonna cut out our print. So, like I mentioned, this is our inspiration piece. Now you could do the same thing, you can do what Kirkland did. That sign that they have it on there, you can usually get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, so like I said, the pumpkins were $2 because that's pretty much the cost of each pack and you need two packs. Um, Cause we're spelling out Hello Fall, which is nine words. Um, or nine letters, and you get eight in a pack. Uh, yeah, let me know if the link has the Pinterest um, thing in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm just cutting out my print. And like I said, this will be free on the, on the blog in a couple weeks. So, are you guys enjoying your Friday night? Bill... Jody, are you on him? He still has the question of the I evening. Know. Let me get logged in first again. Oh, that's why he's quiet. He hasn't gotten logged in. He got kicked I out. I can't see any comments. I had, no. to switch, I had to switch networks and now it's completely frozen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gotta got love it. I think it's something in our network. Thanks, here. Pam. So that, aren't these cute? Now they're gonna, they're much bigger than the, the actual um, pumpkin, but I kind of gave you some room to do what you want to do with it, and I'm going to show you <clears throat> how it lines up. We're going to have to add a little paint, but we'll work through it, I think. Maybe not for these. Oh. oh, thank you. Somebody replied to Alexis. Alexis posted my Pinterest link. Thank you. Um, yes, go hang out over there. <laughs> After the live. After the live. <laughs> Thank you. All of you where uh, it's going to be rainy. My nose is running. Jenny Akuda's watching. Kendall. Kendall. <laughs> Let me see if I can. No. I was trying to see if I could just pin Alexis's post. Thank you. But of course, of course, why would, why would yeah, <laughs> Facebook be, allow me to well, use let's be nice. Let's oh, let's be nice. nice. 300 of you guys on here. Notified today. Oh, Kathy She Sheds on her way. You've been waiting for a long time. That's so exciting. That's so fun. Thanks, guys. Oh, perfect. Cindy got it. Awesome. Oh, thanks, guys. The shirt, um, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, the shirt's in the market. It's our fall line, uh, and our fall line is only going to be through September, so we only got a couple more weeks, and we close up on the fall, and we'll be moving on to, I was about to say summer, <laughs> but it's Christmas. I'm not on yet. I'm still backed up here, but what about a shirt that says, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey guys. So this is a picture from Kirkland's, but I'm making it into a banner. You can do this. Um, it's going to be the perfect size you can put on your mantle. If you don't have a mantle, you can put it on a coffee bar. Um, what else? You could just pretty much put it anywhere you want. Ooh, mine keeps saying interrupted too. Yeah, mine just kept popping off too. Here. Um, I would connect to the other. I did. Oh, you did? That's what okay. I was doing. I'm, Sorry. I'm if you, if we're popping in now. I'm that Are you smart. feeling okay? Are you asking me? I feel fine. Or yeah, uh, no, about your allergies. Oh, yeah, mine. Becky said, how do we get the printable? <laughs> Becky, comment link. L-I-N-K. It'll take you to the blog. The blog will be up next week. <laughs> yes? Yes. Yeah. There you go, Becky. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Hi, you two. Uh, yeah. Anytime just, I do. Hey, just throw it all on the floor, Carol. Just seriously throw it on the... There you go. <laughs> I'm over it, ladies. I'm over it. He's over it. That's a good thing. <laughs> Except you have a pumpkin and the dog's going to eat it. Oh. oh. And she just ate it. 
Okay. Now I'm in, Jody. I'm in. So let me <laughs> let me dig for a question here. Oh, thank you. Yes. So if you're new here. If you're new here, go ahead. Let's see how good you are at it. We do a question of the evening, and we just love to get to know you. So, answer away. <laughs> answer away, guys. <laughs> no, don't answer away. We want to hear your answer. We want to see your answer in the comments. We're interested in it. And if you are a newbie, before we do the question of the evening, Comment newbie so we can give you a big shout out and welcome you in and we'd give you a hug if we could. So So look how cute that is. They're all different colors, but they're exactly like the Kirkland's one. So I think they're super fun. I have my Mod Podge drawing on here. So I'm gonna show you. We're just gonna take your pumpkin. It's larger, obviously. Just get your letter lined up. Take your, I don't have any more parchment paper. I don't know where it is. Can you like hold the pumpkins down with something? My OCD, <laughs> everything is blowing around. Get a B, so what do you drink? I'm drinking tea. Tea, and I'm drinking like a LaCroix or something. So this is a coffee filter. I've done it without it. And then this is a travel iron. So this isn't, um, this isn't craft iron. It's not a craft iron, it's a traf travel iron. I did get that little one. It's a craft iron. That was the first one I started with. Um, but I have to tell you, I wasn't happy like with the cord. This one's not the best, but that one would just constantly flip over for me. Oh, thanks, Patches. Karen Duchesne said, I commented link and I got everything but the Pinterest link. Oh, I'll try to get it. Um, Alexis put it in the comments. It's in the comments. Maybe Nicole can get it if Nicole knows how to, if she's on Pinterest. Look at, okay, but we're cutting all that off. So they're super big. If you want them this big, have at it. Um, but they're super cute. Okay, while well, Carol does the next one, here is the question of the evening. What was the most money you ever spent on one trip to Hobby Lobby? Oh. What was the most money I think. you ever spent on one trip to Hobby Lobby? So I'm curious. Yeah, I don't know. Yours isn't too bad, I don't think. Well, maybe. I was going to say pre. You might have gone without pre, me. I was going to say pre. You might have pre, gone without me. Pre you. <laughs> All right. So this is super easy. Anybody can do it. Um, but a lot of times you guys ask, like, where do you get your inspiration? 400. I got your beat. Debbie said 400. <laughs> no, wait. Thanks, Gina so said 2,000. Holy cow, what did you buy? One trip, Gina. <laughs> One trip. <laughs> Alexis was 334. Okay. Anne was 159. Shirley Jones is 179. Michelle was 356. That's kind of high, Michelle. <laughs> 300 seems. Carolyn, a little lower, 700. Nettie is 775. Ladies, 1500. <laughs> One trip for Christmas. What? Lori's cute. She goes, what did she say? 200, but I go a lot. <laughs> what? Oh, Brenda Hackett said, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Susan's like almost 500 every time. Oh my gosh. Janet said, well, I never look at the receipt. Okay, so the dry technique is real super easy with the, with the Mod Podge and then drying it because then you don't get the bubbles. Now we're going to clean it up. Uh, Cheryl, this is fun. Cheryl said 150 I'm cheap. Cheryl, that's not cheap. That's frugal. How many I'm, carts for 2000 right? <laughs> I'm right there with you, Cheryl. I'm right there with you. Okay, I will tell you, this is where I did a little paint. So, it was really hard to get this lined up, this little stem right here. So, if you have some green paint, just paint that, cover up your pumpkin. Um, I tried to get the print... Uh, Michelle to go it. over it, but it was either too big or going over, and so this was just easier. Thank you, Michelle, for posting the uh, Pinterest board. Oh, thank you, guys. Jody said, my daughter spent eight to 900 in one trip. Oh. What are you guys, that's, well, let me see if that's the other question. What are you guys buying at Hobby Lobby for $2,000? Oh, yeah. that's a lot of paint. And if your orange, for whatever reason, wasn't showing or something like that, a good orange to have in your um, craft stash is the Pumpkin by Waverly. 
<laughs> Angie said, I will never tell. I would have to say mine was like 500, 500 something. When you're buying for a new apartment, it adds up fast. It does. Uh, I ordered three shirts. When will I get them? The shirts are taking about 10 business days. Um, so I would give you a good estimate at two weeks um, from the time that you order. You're going to get it sooner than that, but that's just a good, they're taking about 10 business days to get to you. But they could get there sooner. They so. could get there sooner, yes. Yes. And remember that if you're kind of holding off on ordering a shirt, that it's, it's it does take a little bit. Days. Yeah. It takes a little bit. And the ceramics are about three weeks. So that's why the ceramics that we have on there are Christmas because you're going to get them a little later. So you might want to get started on your Christmas. Otherwise, if I wait till, if I wait till um, October or something like that, you're going to have a while before you get them. <laughs> Gina said, yes, that $2,000 was one trip, she said. My husband made a comment after Christmas one year that he didn't like any of my decorations. So instead of putting them up, I just threw them up. Oh, well. So the following season, I bought all new. That's actually not a bad idea, though. That's fun. Keep the sentimental <laughs> ones. Keep the sentimental ones and get rid of the rest. I'm sure he's never said that again. <laughs> That's awesome, Gina. That's funny. I gotta watch that. that yeah, myself. I'll do that real quick. <laughs> I love that pumpkin. Karen had a hundred. I love that pumpkin with the thankful truck behind you. The pumpkin. Oh, that's um. You guys blew that up. We did that last week. No, this week. Was that this? Oh, week? this week. That was Tuesday. Oh man, where are the weeks going? Um, it was Tuesday we did it. So, go catch that live. That'll be a blog post coming up too. Okay, so super easy, ladies. All you're doing is you're taking the print that I'm going to provide you and you're going to put it on these little pumpkins. Then you're going to take a nail file because that's the easiest way to do it when they're this small around the edges. Look how easy that comes off. That comes off so easy. It does, but the Kohl's works better. Actually, I took a picture and forgot to post it. This little cutie I got from Nicole, who's on here, um, she helps us with the questions, and um, you guys see her here all the time, so she sent this to me, and it's uh, from Walmart. I saw it the other day. So with your Mod Podge, before you start doing this, you want to make sure it's dry. No way. Which it is, because we did the dry technique. Heather, Heather said, I'm with her. I have 26 Christmas trees. Needed a new Christmas needed new Christmas tree ornaments and decor when we bought our new house. Each room has a different theme. Oh my gosh. That's awesome, Heather. We would I would love to see that. That's crazy. I well like, Heather says she's a little extra. <laughs> I like Christmas, ladies, but I like Christmas for Christmas Day. I don't like all the hype up to it. I don't like all that. I just like the day. The day. That's it. Just that. What is that yellow tool called? It was made by Gator. It was Gator. It's Gator just, um, it's by their tool section. Their paint and everything, it's right there. But the pumpkin, see how those little bottom, it's got those little dimples of a pumpkin? The nail file works really good for that. Walmart was where the sander was. Yep. Nicole got it for us at Walmart, or from Walmart, and we saw it the other day. Yesterday, we were at Walmart, uh -huh. and Carol specifically went to go look, so... A zip standard. Will there be any pumpkins on the blog? There could be. That is a good suggestion. That is a good suggestion. So you can customize it. Okay. That's a great idea. Yes, I can do that. Uh, Patricia uses the diamond file from Dollar Tree. Oh, there you go. It always works better than the sanding blocks. Yeah, the sanding blocks, you can't get into those little crevices. Yeah. I don't know who said that about the um, pumpkins, but yes, I can I can work on that. This will be super cute. I think it is. And it's going to be something, like I said, that you can put on your mantle and really is going to cost you nothing other than getting the pumpkins. But you guys, be creative. If you can't find these pumpkins, because I know that, you know, and I kind of steer away from Dollar Tree. I'm telling you that only because 
it bothers me when you're trying to do a craft and then you ladies can't find it. But what you can do, and I only know this because I've seen other crafters do it, you could take this, you could cut it out of cardboard. So meaning go on the internet, go on Google, find a silhouette of a pumpkin, cut it out of cardboard, cut it out of foam board. Um, it's only used as a base and it's light. So you could pretty much substitute something else for it. If you can't find it, always try to think of another way that you could do the craft and maybe not have the that specific supply. Hey, Lisa Jones, thank you for ordering three shirts. Oh, thank you. You're going to love them. Um, Jean Carr says she gets hers from Menards. Her sander. This is good exercise. It's the only exercise I get. <laughs> Uh, Alexa said if you made all the letters, it would be so fun as a download for a teacher. Yes. Oh, that's a great, great idea. idea. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Because then you'll have the letters and then, yes, if you wanted to spell out something else or have it for a craft for a teacher. Kathy, found, board. Kathy found wood pumpkin garland at Walmart. Oh, Good find. I didn't know they had that. Uh, oh, and your, your shirt is so cute. <laughs> yep. I just have to do more gnome shirts because when we wear the gnome shirt, you guys love it. <laughs> and I don't do too many. <laughs> Show me. She yeah. never check anyone out that much. People, <laughs> the lady at the DT told me she has never checked anyone out that much. People in line will not was not happy though. Oh, that's Carol. Yeah. That's probably the question for next week. How much have you spent at Dollar Tree? <laughs> Jody just said, uh, I think I just ordered your shirt and the last ceramics that I don't have yet. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. <laughs> oh, and Jody, she has a box coming to her. Oh, Jody, you have yeah. a separate box she coming. She has a separate you. box coming to you. Um, but each tree is a different. Oh, see? So you who guys, was that that had the 2000? Is she the winner? The Gina. Yeah, Gina, I think. <laughs> Stephanie said, oh, I forgot. I ordered the smoke shirt for my hubby. Oh, I yes, you did. Yes, ladies, we have two men's shirts in there. We have a shirt that says, I'd smoke that with a chicken, a pig, and a cow for somebody or yourself if you like to grill. And then there's another shirt in there that just says, nope. <laughs> so... Oh, Lisa just ordered a case of calendars. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I think when we, we actually, so with every order that came through this month, we were giving a calendar, and we only have a few calendars left. Um, I did not cut those pumpkins out. Those came in a package from Dollar Tree. Yes. So this we're, is the, this is the pack. We're trying to make it easy for you ladies, so if you do find them out there... Or Kathy Moran said you can find them at uh, Walmart. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's clean this up. Why do you sand it? Leave it. <laughs> Who said that? Could you leave it? Brittany. Um, no, you can't. Well, you can. You if, could if it was the exact size. If it's, you know, that's your preference. You can. But see how this is the pumpkin? So what I'm sanding is I'm sanding the extra paper off. To, to clean it up. And these bottom parts are the, the bottom parts, you kind of want to make them look like a pumpkin. Otherwise, they look like a big blob. Judy, thank you for the stars. Oh, thank you, guys. The goal over there for the stars is, um, I don't know what it is. Where's the Facebook paper? Facebook do it. Where's the paper from? The paper is just regular copy paper that she printed it off. Yes. And it was a printable of the pumpkins. And you'll get the printables next week on the blog. On the so. blog. Okay. So this is what we're doing. I've got all this. And then I did this earlier. We're going to make this all cute. So I did the hello. Because... <laughs> I think that was brutal enough to just listen to me scrape. Um, so we're doing that. So now let's make this cute, cute, cute. We'll add a little bow. So what's cool though, in that pack, where'd that pack go? Where did the pack go? Huh. 
Okay, wherever my, I think I probably threw it out. Probably threw it out. Echo what? The plastic that was on here. Plastic? The plastic that the pumpkins came in. This. That, yes. <laughs> it's like, find the crafts. So, in the little bag and your little pumpkins, you get this little jute, okay? This is extra jute. You're gonna use this as your hanger for your banner. Thanks, guys. Oh, no. Guys. <laughs> Stop with the thanks, guys. I'm gonna keep saying it because it gets on your nerves. That's what oh. you guys up to. <laughs> <laughs> I found, uh, Kathy found a metal one at Walmart also. Okay. Let's get, let's get the glue gun on. Oh, you guys want to talk about that? So, a second question of the evening, since you ladies are already talking it amongst yourselves. What? How, what is the total amount of money that you spent at Dollar Tree? What is the total amount of money you spent at Dollar Tree? Somebody's talking about a 10% discount at Dollar Tree. What? Okay, 10%. I'm waiting for my hot glue to heat up. Sorry, ladies. So say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Judy's an Easter girl. She likes Easter. Uh, okay, so we're going to wait for our hot glue to go. And then we're going to make these cute. And stay tuned because we're going to do a pom-pom. So actually, I'll do that while my heat gun is heating up. So we're going to make a pom-pom, a fabric pom-pom. I thought it would be cute. I don't know how many... I'll do two if I want to add more. I thought one on each end, maybe one in the middle between the words. Um, but they're super cute. They're super fun. If that's not your look, then add beads or add something else. But every time I touch fabric, I think <laughs> I always tell Alexis, I get to my inner Alexis because she's like the fabric person. Um, but go in your craft room. Find a variety of fabrics. Again, this is a craft stash. Um, this is just leftover fabric I've had for many projects. You're only going to need a little, um, I did, I think it was either five or six strips because it's a smaller pom-pom. Oh, see, Andrew said $100. <laughs> Faye's like, we'll not admit that. That's so funny. Okay, so I'm going to just, you're going to snip it about an inch. <laughs> and just throw it on the floor. <laughs> And just throw it on the floor. What do I always tell you, ladies? Take two. Okay. Pay a little bigger than what I just did. So that's about that. <laughs> and then you're going to... You're going to uh, do that. <laughs> so I like the longer strips. So it's about 24 inches, but don't... That's not... That's just rough. But just take your scissors and snip it. There's a way, like the fabric runs or something, that if you cut it a certain way, you won't get as many of the, the, the whatever, the flyaways, but I still can't figure that out. So. Thank you, Faye, for answering that question. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, no. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> One, thanks, two, guys. three. <laughs> Kim, 200 at, 200 at uh, I keep saying Dollar Tree. Thing. How many items is that, Kim? <laughs> like oh see this was nice to tear oh that tore almost that tore face. like okay we're gonna take an extra one of this for that one Dep so there was something i did there was a way that when you do it the right way it does it nice like this debbie privet one trip one trip to dollar Two. tree not a lifetime <laughs> uh three four I'm gonna kind of tuck that green. I picked the green because I've got some green on my stems and I really like the check. Um, I guess I didn't need that many colors, but it's fine. You can't go wrong. Every, everybody's saying, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> now whenever you ladies are out somewhere and you hear somebody say, hey guys, you're gonna think of Carol. Okay, so I've Martin. got, <laughs> well, this is for the one pom-pom, so let's do it. We're gonna do about two pom-poms. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you talking about one visit or a lifetime? We, no, one visit. We already talked about that. Oh. 
One visit, Debbie. 75. Not bad, Debbie. Not bad. I think, uh, who was 200? I forgot. I gotta take an Instagram was... photo. You should see the, see the floor. Somebody was 200. So you're gonna need about 12 strips. Strips. 12 strips. You're gonna need 12 strips of fabric <laughs> to make a pom pom. And we're not making ribbons, we're making strips of pom pom. <laughs> Girl. That's worth something, ladies. Throw some hearts up. She's gonna pee oh her pants. Oh my gosh, that's it's so Friday funny. night. She's gonna pee her pants. <laughs> so make sure you have your fabric so we can cut it into strips. You're not gonna want to cut it into strips. You want to cut it into strips. What is your problem? <laughs> Grain of fabrics. Yes. Yeah, Sherry. There's a there's a thing. Would you guys buy? We, we can make a shirt up that says, hey guys. <laughs> Honey. What? They're all saying that would be cute. Okay, I'm going to take my strips. I'm going to move them to the side. <laughs> Jody said, you're making her pee her pants. I know. I know. I'm you hit sorry. this age and it's like. One trip, Rebecca. One trip <laughs> to Dollar Tree. Okay. I'm going to take. If we're making you laugh, let's make other people laugh. Make sure and spread the honey <laughs> to your mom, your brother, your dad, your uh, neighbor. <laughs> All right, we're going to make little bows to put on here. We're just making, don't do that. Oh, just throw it on the floor. <laughs> Jeez, my hair is a mess. We're a mess today. Oh, hope you two are feeling well. Oh, thanks, Susan. We're both a little stuffy. Right? Yes. And a little achy. Like, we don't have colds or anything, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, Bill, you're killing me. <laughs> he okay. does, who's that imitation that you do? Okay, who made the tea? That's what oh. I <laughs> Okay, so you're going to do your little ears. Nothing, nothing fancy here. Because all we're doing is adding a little bow. If you want to add moss, you can add moss. If you want to add... Uh, ribbon, you can add ribbon. I'm adding jute. Uh, Wendy uh, said you have flyaways on your shirt. Oh, I'll get them all. By your left chest area. Okay. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to do that. I hate doing that. That jar is a must-have. I'm adding that to my notebook. Stephanie, you don't need a notebook. <laughs> what did we say? You don't need a notebook. You could... We were just talking about oh the, the pivot, day. but she's she's oh, yeah, she's yeah. doing um for her supplies because yes, Stephanie's right. just starting off. All right, so you're making your little uh yeah my nose is running. I'll get you Kleenex. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what's in it? I knew when he made me laugh earlier. So I mean that 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 is our day. Um, makes me laugh all the time. But I always tell my girls. Um, you want a man who makes you laugh more than he makes you cry. So that's what I got. Second time around, I got lucky. Uh, yeah, the jar is just a hole in, I don't even know what that is, a hole in, in the jar. <laughs> the lid. Uh, it makes it easier because basically what happens is I, when I try to pull it like that, pull it, he always laughs. Um, it goes on the floor and stuff, so, I don't know, I'm stuck it in there one day. Who was that? <laughs> yeah, see, is my husband. Oh, uh, thanks, Carol. So, it's a good way for us to spend our Friday night, and like I said, it's fun. It's a simple craft. Anybody can do it. Have fun with it. Keep spreading the honey. I don't have calendars to give away because you guys... Pretty much bought out the market, so everybody got their calendars with that. Um, and I have a few left for the ladies in the club. Hey, Judy. I think Belle went to go check on uh, Mia. Okay. Hey, Sandy. It is quiet when he's not here, that's for sure. He's <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so who, are you starting your fall crafting are you already pretty much have things decorated oh he brought me tissue um did you buy a kleenex 
like warehouse? I know. Why do we have so many boxes of Kleenex? Because it was a special. Where did you get your pumpkins? We got them at Dollar Tree, but other ladies have said you can get that um, at uh, Walmart. So they're wooden pumpkins. There's eight pieces in there. But like I said, be creative. If you can't find the wood cutouts, um, like I said, I've seen ladies do it with the foam board. I've seen them do it with cardboard. Um, Agnes pulls cardboard out and she, I don't know what she makes with it, but she's always making something. Um, so, and Agnes is with just that perfect piece. I like hers. How to make one? Yes, definitely make one. Super easy, obviously. Okay. Now we're going to go to the backs. So what I found is one, I covered up the hole. But a lot of times when you only have one hole in anything on a banner, it doesn't lay right. It like goes to the side. So usually you need two holes. But I'm just going to put a little loop on the back to help with mine. That's all. And then you can, or you could just lay your jute across it. So either way. Yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with. How yeah. about that? <laughs> Do it your way. Oh, Heather's all done with fall. I've got to go to Walmart. I've got to go to Walmart. Nettie's all packed away. She can't even decorate for fall. Oh. She's moving, yeah. That's right. Joyce has already decorated for fall. Lots of you have decorated for fall. Wow. See, Patches waits till September. Yeah, but Patches, you're Kathy, like Kathy, you don't away. have any wood cutouts? I actually bought this. I wouldn't even doubt it if I had this from last year. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You know what? I have to look. I have to look. I think I have. I think I have a couple of these. I know I have three for sure. So if we could get that number up to 500, I will pick three of you to send out one of these um, pumpkins. I know I have them. I know I have them. So, get to 500 and I will pick three of you. And to get there, you need to spread the honey, ladies. <laughs> spread it. Uh, Leanne said, not fall yet. Gina decorates for Labor Day. That's oh, awesome. Oh, okay. I wait till September. Brenda's waiting for cooler weather. Yeah, right, it's too hot. See, Patches does mid-January. January? Or mid-November for Christmas. Oh, hello, Mandy from the UK. Sunflower and apples, Lorraine said. Ooh, so I love sunflowers. Yeah, we had somebody on here from Australia. Yes, that's so fun. Hello, we had that right? when we first started, we had somebody from Australia, and it was, like, blew us away because we had just started the page, and when you see people from other countries, you're like, whoa. Um, and she sent us a picture outside of her window of a kangaroo. And it was just the coolest thing. It's like you just, you know, from everywhere. Hey, Sherry Wolf, be careful traveling. I don't know if you're flying or driving, but be careful. She said we're on our way home. Oh, be careful, yes. Um, I didn't paint these pumpkins. This this is a print that I made, and I ha I made it, so I have the right to give it to you, um, and it will be on the blog sometime next week, if not possibly later. It really depends, but I will do my best. I have to, oh, Andrea has to clean her craft room. It's a scorcher in Illinois. Uh, I hope not next week. We have a wedding to go to in Illinois, and I hope it's not a scorcher. Oh, I'm sure it's going to. I'm sure it's supposed to cool off, they said. Thank you, Kathy Fletcher. So all I'm doing is making like a little loop for my little hanger. My comments are way behind. It's, it's winter in Australia. Oh, that's right. There's like completely different. So what's winter? Like what winter temperatures do you get? Like is it in the 30s? That was Jody that said that. Oh. And Jody's from Michigan. Oh. <laughs> but she must know her. Don says tomorrow's supposed to be warmer. Well, Did he finish the question? Did everybody answer yeah. the question? Yeah. It's hot here in Florida, ladies. So I guess let's ask that. Where you, If you haven't mentioned it, where are you from? Just put the city in there. You don't even have to put the state. I'll, I'll see it. Maybe you, got a, you might have a next door neighbor on here watching with you. All right. So let's cut this. 
Yeah, Joyce wants to know. Oh, what is the temp in Australia? 61. Oh, okay. Oh, Jody said 61 here today in raining. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I could go for some 61s. Um, okay. So, they're super, super cute. We're in Central Florida. I have Florida. three of them to give away. If you guys spread the honey. We got to get to 500, though. Oh, my nose. Okay. Let's make our fabric pom-pom. Leslie's from St. Augustine. I love St. Augustine, Leslie. What's NSB? I grew up in NSB. What's NSB? Utah. It's a scorcher. Casa Grande, 110. Holy smokies. That's Arizona, I think. That's where my nephew used to live. Casa Grande. Okay. All right. Let's get... So... This is, I'm a gadget girl. You guys know I'm a gadget girl. Honey Hush Creation. She's on Etsy. This is a pom-pom maker. I'm going to use, she's got a two inch and a three inch. I like the three inch for the fabric. Um, and all I'm going to do is take the six strips that I had. I, I don't have luck. I know some of the other ladies do pom-poms. Um, I know Alexis does the pom-poms and she uses, I think, more fabric than I'm going to be using. I don't seem to have luck, so I'm going to just use a little. Plus, they're small pom-poms because they're just going to be part 70s of your... 70s in New Hampshire. Ooh, ooh. It was 90s all week, though. So all you're doing, I mean, this is simple to do. You're just going to take your fabric. Your fabric's about an inch in width, and then you're going to wrap it around a few times alternating your patterns. Hey, Trudy from Indianapolis. First time watching. Welcome. This is my favorite. That's like a navy. And I'll clean the strings and do all that. So don't worry about that. Paris, Illinois. Oh, that's fun. Helen said I shared the honey on a friends list and to 10 groups I belong oh, to. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Helen. Yeah, this is the Dollar Tree pumpkin and some fabric. So like I said, Kirkland, this is a Kirkland inspired sign. We're making it into a banner. That's what it was. We're making it into a banner and, um, what am I gonna say? And we're really making it for $2 plus your craft stash. Can you buy the pom pom maker? Yes. Yes, from um, Etsy. From Etsy and it's a uh, Honey Hush. Honey Hush um, Creations, it's Heather. So if you go to Etsy, and type in honey hush, it should come in, come out. Okay. This in or out. In or out. In or out. Whichever <laughs> way you want to go. In or out. You're going to take, okay, so I did learn this. I think Alexis showed it and I saw it. Someone else do it too. So you're taking your string and you're going to like double it. So before you pull it down, you're going to take this part and you're going to double it. And it knocks it. So, because if you do it once with the jute, it bounces back. And I learned that. Alexis actually did it a couple days ago. It was like a double knot. <laughs> when, I got, when I got off the live of watching her, I went in my craft room. I was like, oh, that does work. <laughs> so, double it and then get it in here. Okay. Uh, Jody Thanks. says 40s to 60s during the winter months in Australia. So, you got a little bow tie. All right, and then you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to just cut your fabric. That looks so easy. I could do it. You want to do the next one? No. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come I'm here. I'm completely fine sitting where I'm at. <laughs> then all you're going to do is you're going to shake it out. Beat it up. Alexis, thank you for posting the link for Honey Hush. Yes, You're Heather. Awesome. Heather is the first one I've seen. I don't know if there's other copies out there, but Heather was the first one that did that. That was her design, um, and I've had it forever. Going to bed, catch the replay. I have to get up at four a.m. Oh, oh, good night, whoever that was. I didn't see the name, but good night. You're probably already asleep. <laughs> so with the fabric, you might have some that are going to come out, but. It's supposed to just be fun. So you just get a couple of your fabrics together and then you just shake it up and you'll be good to go. And then spread it out. And then Ooh. fluff it up. And fluff it up. And if you want, 
I mean, you can trim it however you want. So if you see some stragglers like that one, just trim it up. And then for this one, it was kind of bigger than this one. So we got one more we're going to make. That's fun. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, now we're at 361. And I'm Gadget, so that's why I love the the pom-poms. Actually, you could do it this way, too. So you could take your fabric and clean all that strings out like that. Just layer them. So about five or six. Are you guys still loving this? Because I don't see a ton of hearts. <laughs> I see the hearts. I do. Okay. That's just big hot mess. Cute pom pom. Pom poms make it fun. Okay, so you got all your fabric this way. You could just take that, take your um, pom pom maker, and just tie it that way. And then what you're going to do is take your jute again. There's the hearts. There's the hearts. I know I can count on you. Gina said, I'm loving you guys. Gina, <laughs> we're loving you too, Gina, that spends $2,000 at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Maybe not my kind of girl, but <laughs> somebody's girl. Reminds me of Bob, Bob Ross when he was cleaning his paintbrushes. Oh, that's funny. All right. So double knot it. That trick really does work. <laughs> I see the hearts. Yes, I uh, do. Thank you. Pull it off. I keep freezing on my end. Sorry, Susan. Must be Friday night internet. <laughs> it might be. Everybody on? Spreading the uh, honey. Thanks, I guys. love you, Carol. That was from Vicki McMinnon. Oh, thank you. So the pom poms are super easy. And it takes some practice. Don't, I mean, I've made some, like, personally. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I wanted to put some of the, <laughs> I wanted to put the pom poms in the pom poms. Um, <laughs> I like this for some reason, but this is kind of I'm like that's taking me a little bit. So, does the material have to lay face up when you wrap it? No, because it all gets all jumbled anyway. So, yeah, stuff. Oh, Gina said, "You two have just made my next Dollar Tree trip two hundred dollars." <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Gina. And what I did too for the other one is I took two of these. So, so like sometimes when you're your fabric's too long or you just want to give it a haircut do a sandwich like this and then you can trim it a pom-pom sandwich a pom-pom sandwich oh, so, all so then this the way so they're all even so sometimes if you do your fabric a little um crazy like cutting the pom-poms you could be there forever you could use this trip trick too if you're gonna do with like yarn but just sandwich it in something that you kind of want that size um and it just helps you so you're not sitting there forever doing that beat telling, it up carol yeah, they're all telling you to beat it up i don't That's know what funny. that means but not me right okay all right me? Not me, so we right? got cute no okay, okay. Cute why are you out of breath I don't slow know. down nobody's in a hurry <laughs> they want more of carol not less of carol <laughs> but yeah use that trick because it works because literally, I could sit here and just keep trimming and trimming and trimming and trimming. So, especially if you're making a few of them. No, okay. Stop. Okay, stop on the floor. Yes, Bill does have a nice mess to clean up later. <laughs> Actually, I've been walking away from that. Why did you throw the Kleenex on the floor? He'll snap a picture and put it on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Let's get this banner together. So, what I thought would be fun... Kimberly's on vacation in Amish country. Is just going to start taking your letters. Now, you could do this and just put them on there. But for, I mean, they lay. Don't get me wrong. They lay. But I have OCD. So I do it that way. <laughs> I do have OCD when it comes to certain. When it comes to crafting. <laughs> that wasn't nice, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> He doesn't think I have OCD because he thinks I have a big mess. Like, I'll what's in, happening on the bottom layer? Ladies, right I'll Instagram all the clothes on her floor in her bedroom <laughs> that still need to be folded. Okay, we're not going to start with the H. We're going to go backwards. So, we're going to actually... Well, we'll do that later. 
<laughs> you guys confused? So I'm gonna just loop it through here. They all want to know how you tied the knot. Your your special knot. Oh, the 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 double knot that so Alexis like taught. Maybe so at the end. Maybe at no, the I end. I can do it now. All right. Vicky, I'm being nice. Let me let me get this on because I'm confusing myself. Okay, so we're gonna start with the L. We're gonna spell it backwards. L. 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 <laughs> Honey. A. A. <laughs> what does it even say? I don't know what it says. Hello, Paul. Oh, hello. Barbara said you two are the funniest. Well, keep watching us. Make sure, if you're new, make sure you like and follow the page. Do both and come back. We want you to come back. <laughs> come back. Come back. <laughs> that sounded pitiful. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Heather said, uh, just wanted to say we're praying for everyone along the New, or uh, the New Orleans coast. Yes, I remember Katrina 16 years ago. I was part of the reuniting of loved ones afterwards. It was uh, one of the saddest and, hap and happiest times. I agree. Guys, be safe. And if you're in that path, uh, I'd say get out. <laughs> yeah. um, when we first moved down here to Florida, we went through Irma. We're central Florida. We're like in the Lakeland area, mm -hmm. uh, which is directly between Orlando and Tampa. And it came right up our way. And Carol actually slept through most of it. But I was up and, yeah, once the power went out, it got a little scary there for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it so did, definitely. We were, uh, we were in the bathroom, put it that way. Trees and everything were hitting the house. And I heard somebody say Garland must be in because you've seen some do it. I think with Garland's, what makes it fun is, one, it's inexpensive. A lot of people like to decorate their mantles, coffee bars, things like that. And Garland's are just perfect for that. This was inspired by... Um, a picture from Kirkland's and basically like I said if you wanted to make it into a sign you could do that and get that piece from Hobby Lobby um, I chose to do it as a garland switch the two L's in fall okay Thank what you. happened that's right that's right all right we're gonna make this a little longer so my good catch whoever my mantle was. is about 60 inches and that's about the width of my desk i will tell you if she really had ocd she would have caught that ladies oh my gosh hi guys hi guys but okay we got the l's ladies we got the l's thank you <laughs> but that's that's craft and live Ooh, face that I experienced Katrina without power for almost three weeks oh wow are you in the path of this one Faye? wow Okay. If you are, stay in touch because we got an amazing group here. That yeah, we will do. Definitely send positive thoughts and positive prayers, and the power of prayer does work. I will say that. So. Okay. So we're gonna take. Wood bead in between each pumpkin painted orange. Ooh, that would be oh, cute. Oh, good idea, Kathy Fletcher. We're going to fix this too because that bothers me. Okay. So what I do for that is. I take um, little clips. So these are little clips, mine are black, but you can get them from Dollar Tree, they have them. Um, so now you're $3 in if you buy the little clip. But I like the clips because it keeps it in place. Um, but you do, if you want, don't want the clips, you don't have to do the clips. You do what you do. Yeah. Do what you want. That's what's great about the craft. We do have a free group you can share your crafts in. Um, don't ask me what it's called because I never remember, but I always post the link later um, here in the chat. Okay. Super fun. Super easy. If you want, you could paint these instead of black. You could paint them orange. The clips look like stems. Yeah, they kind of do. Patsy. So now I'm going to take my pom-pom. But like I said, I actually had those Buffalo Check um, wood beads that I got from Amazon that I told you guys about. I've done some projects with them. Um, yes, you could definitely put those in between. The only problem, though, I will tell you is when you, with these at least, the hole's really small um, and my juice really thick. So that's don't use a lot of that. This is getting to look so cute, right, Patches? 
Right. If we keep freezing, I'm sorry, Karen. It's doing a little bit on my end, not as much as it was before, but I'm watching Carol, and Carol's not freezing. So sometimes if you jump out, but jump right back in. So All right. trying to get it so. And anybody that has asked if you're interested in the market for the shirt Carol's wearing or any other shirts, if you comment link, you will get all the information. If you're new, comment link and you will get our texting number where we'll text you when we go live. Yes. So not only if you follow and like the page, you'll hopefully get notified by Mark Zuckerberg, which is Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. But um, you will also get uh, notified by us through texting. So. Bill has a more love for Mark than I do. <laughs> well, you really want to be on his good side. Yeah, Plus, you do, but... I'm kind of on a first-name basis with him, so... Give me a call, Mark. I'd love to hang out. Uh, somebody at their somebody at their IT department right now is going, Mark! Mark, right. There's yeah. this Bill guy at Be Inspired. He wants to hang out with you. Yes, there's one in between. Um, the, it's between the hello and the fall. And then um, all of that. So, and then I will show you the, the little... Can you come here and help me, honey? How about if I just hold it like this so nobody sees my face? So basically, when you get it up on your mantle, you're going to have it where they're going yeah, to Yeah, you're going to line them all up. You're going to line them all up. Plus, we have a fan on going in our room, a fan that is blowing like crazy. There we go. That one, that one isn't. Oh, her OCD. Where's the other pom-pom at the other end? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you got your little pom pom at the other end. But when you have it laying against your mantle, yeah, you'll kinda... be able, you'll see. See it? And we'll take a picture. Yep. At the end, we'll take a picture. But look how cute that is. So you just, you're going to have your hello fall. Look how cute. You can put pom poms. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you can put more pom poms on there if you want. So you could put the beads, like we said, in between. Um, so many possibilities. Isn't that cute? So the printable are those pumpkins, and we're going to get those on the blog in the next coming week. The ladies in the club will get those tomorrow. Um, Pinterest. So I was saying with the pom-poms, when you're, assume this is the middle, what you're going to do is you're going to take your string, you're going to go once, so that's once, then you're going to take the string and go twice. So then when you go like down, it stays. So it's like a double loop. There's a name for it. I don't know what it's called. It's as cute as an Easter egg. Good. I hope you guys like it. Super easy, simple, but very inexpensive. With the clips and the pumpkins, you're at $3. They wanted $25 for a sign. You could easily put these in as a sign. Um, and then your craft stash. I mean, everybody has jute, um, you know, fabric. I'm sure you guys have fabric from a leftover. If you don't have fabric, like from a fabric store, go in your closet. There's probably like a flannel shirt or a pair of jeans, something that maybe doesn't fit that you can use as fabric. So oh, just, I got a lot of stuff that doesn't fit. <laughs> so always think outside the box and don't think that you have to run to the store because I'm sure you guys have stuff. So A flannel shirt would Thanks. be a really good idea. Yeah, flannel though. would be perfect, especially fall. for fall. That's fall. Yeah. Somebody so. said your pom-pom <laughs> by your, that must be the one in the middle, isn't separated, right? This one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you got to play one. with them. No, the middle one. You have it between the L and the O. And it needs to be bumped over. There you go. There you go. There you go. So that's what's super it. easy. That's why it's, if you glue it, you could definitely glue it or just do it that way. But have fun with it. Could you um, use felt? For? For the pom-pom? Uh, no. Felt oh. isn't going to give you that... Um, Goofy? That uh, flexibility that you need. Um... To do it. So, a porch like sign? I said, this one came up really. You're one. right, Debbie. That would be a good porch sign. Too. Absolutely, as a porch sign. If you have a scrap of wood, um, also Goodwill is good for that. Like, take an old, um, they sometimes have pieces like canvases and things like that. So, there's so many possibilities, so many possibilities for you guys to do this. But I think it's super cute. Thank you, Judy. Um, so festive. I love the pom bombs. Um, and like I said, just have fun with it. So, Love it. Oh, another super cute clap. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Did you make the little scarecrow behind you? Yes. yes. That is actually a blog post. 
um, comment link and then you'll get the blog post to that or go to the blog and check it out. But that's our light bulb scarecrow. We made that. Um, what else is on the blog? Oh, these little pumpkins. This was a Dollar Tree craft too. It's one of those boxes and we made it into a pumpkin. So those are go, super cool. You can go check that out on the blog too. So, all right. Somebody said, hold on. Somebody said, like you're tightening a ponytail. Yeah, there's like, you just got to keep pulling it. Keep playing with it. And then somebody said, what is that? Is that a gnome behind you? A big gnome? Yes, that's, that's our ceramics. Thank you. If you guys are still on. Yeah, Alexis is saying you just basically are tightening up your pom-pom. Like if you were tightening up a, um, a ponytail. And that's true. I think that's what I wasn't doing right. Thanks for the heart, Stephanie. Thank you. Somebody said, can you see the gnome? Oh, the gnome behind? Off? Yep. Now I got into the pom-pom things. Um, this guy. This is Mr. Finn. We have to paint him on a live. Uh, we're traveling next week, but we're going to be looking to paint some of these. Um, we've got a lot of ceramics on the, on the, um, in the market. So Mr. Finn is in there. Where did the pumpkin come from? What pumpkin? Which pumpkin, Sandy? Which pumpkin? The pumpkin uh, garland she just made. All of this will be available on the blog next week. Good night, Michelle. Drive safe, Sherry Wolf. Ooh, sometimes your fabric pulls out. Jody said, I think I just ordered him too. <laughs> Did you really, Jody? <laughs> Thank you, Jody. There we go. Alexis said, he's so cute. Every we love Alexis just because every time we say her name, everybody's Alexa. <laughs> Alexa goes off. Uh, good night, Michelle. All right, ladies, look for all the blog posts. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, we'll post a final picture for of this. Um, thank you again for um, just spending your Friday night with us. And we will be back. Make sure you're on our texting. Uh, we text you usually about 15, 20 minutes before we go live. Uh, thank you, Nicole, and everybody that helped with questions. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we're all good. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good evening. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>